just want to quickly talk about Quarter Life. Uh, Quarter Life is an amazing interweb kind of show that uh, it just it's a, if you don't know and you haven't watched it, watch it now. Go to www.quarterlife.com or uh, click the MySpace TV section, and it should probably be in one of the shows. Um, I remember. Uh, let me just. Uh, I love the show. I think it's great. Uh, I know a lot of people will probably give a lot of flack as trying to be uh, my so-called life or party of five-ish, and it kind of ha- it does have that feel of like a Fox kind of a kind of '90s Fox show. But uh, it's you know my, I, just like everyone else, I kind of uh, I remember I went to MySpace and they had the ads and. You know, it's something that we've always kind of, you know, you MySpace TV section, it kind of sucks, and there's not really a lot going there, there's not a lot of good shows, and any time they kind of advertise, you know, the the show that they sponsor, you kind of expect it to be crap, but, you know, I saw the first one, and it, something about it responded to me, I liked a lot of the characters, and then I loved it even more at the website because of the way that it was so, it wasn't intrusive, you were just able to see it in a really good quality, it worked kind of like NBC's.com, which the show was picked up by NBC, and uh, I really like it, I love the little hit the lights feature, I, I love the website, I love everything, just the way it was packaged was like, this is something that, I mean, we've already seen, it kind of got me excited at the same time when I saw uh, Alias on ABC when they first had put stuff on the internet, and it was, it kind of was like, okay, yeah, this is exciting because this is, this is how TV shows should be, like that anyone people doing what they're doing on YouTube, doing what I, I'm doing with the character, the Dylan Krieger character does, which is blogging, you just get a webcam and either it's built in or you just start, you just put yourself out there and people can see it and um, the, unfortunately the problem with a lot of why, you know, people on YouTube and, and people everywhere haven't been able, why it had, like people are kind of, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, you know, Chris Crocker had did his video and now he's supposedly doing some thing, but everybody's kind of wondering, okay, well, why hasn't there been success, and a lot of it is just, well, it depends on the content, and, and the quality, and I, you know, I think Quarter Life is going to be judged by, it's, you know, the, it's a really interesting show, because it's, it's got really great talent behind it, it's kind of, you know, it's got Ed Zwick, uh, it's got the guy, uh, Mark, uh, Hershowitz, who did, a. Uh, my my so-called life, and it's really it's really professionally made. You you think you're watching a show, like you feel like a show escaped, like this was a pilot that was turned into a couple episodes that were never released, and it was put on the internet, and, and it really is this kind of gem of a show that you gotta imagine, like you know, it just debuted this month. It's still November. Today is November 26th. It's been what 14 days, and it's already been acquired to be. It's no longer the internet show anymore. It's the show that's going to be on NBC, and uh, just I don't know how I feel about that, but I do feel like I do want to s- still keep watching it on the internet somehow. I would love the website to continue and grow, but at the same time, I hope the show becomes less I don't know uh, Hollywoodized in the sense that like uh, the shows are being really great about being locationless, where it's like it really a lot of it doesn't take place in a lot of locations. It takes place in Dylan's, uh, Dylan's home, and you do kind of see, uh, that where she works, and it's kind of like, there's probably like maybe four or five locations tops, and they're real locations, they're not sets that are built, so I hope that the show continues doing that, I hope they don't build sets, kind of like Friends or something, I, I want it to stay that kind of handheld, you feel like they're you could walk to these places and, and, and be caught in the filming of them. And that might be a problem because usually when you start to do location work, uh, people around the location tend to want to get money from that. So they start, you know, the, uh, I, I remember uh, Grunberg uh, from Heroes said that once you do location work, uh, the first thing that happens is some guy turns on a leaf blower. So they go up to him and say, well, you turn off the leaf blower. And he's like, yeah, give me a hundred bucks and I will. And that really sucks that that happens, but that people will do that when you do location work, and they know that it's a big show, they try and get their money out of it, so I hope that that doesn't ruin this, this little gem of a show, that it's able to kind of go there with those cameras and film in those places, and just 
stay this small thing that just stay like a like what I'm doing now, like a, a little internet kind of show. And that I mean, there's really great potential for a lot of the characters. There's a lot that you can use, a lot of places you could take it. It's really interesting. I and I hope to see. I don't know. I guess I guess the, the another problem that I have is like. On the internet, it was always every week you'd see one. It was like every, it was like five, maybe five to ten minutes. And now they're going to be half hour shows. So I'm wondering if this show can sustain a 30 to 40 minute, 30 to 40 minutes. Because I like that it was like five to ten minutes. So I'm wondering what 30 minutes are going to do. And I like that it was kind of these little snacks. It wasn't just the whole meal. It was little snacks. So it's kind of, it's very interesting because it's good for NBC. They made the right decision. But you kind of wonder, is this something that, does it belong in television? Or was it built specifically for the internet, that format? And you're like, the only thing NBC can really offer you hope is just exposure. But at the same time, you don't want this to change what it is. And what it is is this great little internet kind of free-for-all. It's as if you and your friends got together and tried to create a 90210 or the OC in your house or something. It, it kind of has that vibe to it. And these are, you know, say what you want about these kind of shows. You think, oh, well, they're really easy to make. You just get the the, the emo girl or the, the hot-looking guy or whatever in these characters. And you just angst, you know, teenage angst or, you know... 20 year olds who are in love and but it's not really about that it's kind of like this one is, is really it's just about you know regular problems and people trying to express themselves and it's it's a kind of it's i don't know it's very interesting kind of new it's new and old at the same time but it just it's very interesting and i hope the show continues and i hope it doesn't change